quite shocked. I mean, a lot of X Factor, when they come out, they make pop things, but you went with a more rocky sound. I think, yeah. I, I, yeah, I have more of a rock sound. Um, but rock can be very pop at the same time. Uh, so you need to be careful on how you treat it. I think um, when I started writing for my album, all I, like, you go into sessions and, and all you hear is, okay, today we're going to write a number one hit. And you take a reference what's sounding on the radio at that moment. So when, when you get there, um, it's late already because that sound is old. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. The, the true key to this is to create a new sound to create and, and to be able to express what's in your mind. For example, Florence in the Machine, she's done it amazingly. Her sound will never be, you know, recreated. And she plays in Radio 1 and, and she's successful because she's created something of her own. That's her persona in her music. So has Lana Del Rey. So do you, you know? Yeah. Um, so what I'm trying to do is to create the sound that represents me as a musician and as an artist, um, which has a lot of rock factor, rock factor in the drama of it, in the guitars, in the, you know, it's, it's, a rock is just amazing. But then it has the classical factor, because I, I was singing opera since I was young, and, and I love Tchaikovsky, and... Um, uh, Beethoven and, and I'm trying to recreate that too and, and mix them both and 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 have electronic bit, beats that are today and that you know make it current so it's almost like when you go into the studio you're being like a scientist to making a formula yeah um, and and you're just trying new things and and most of my old material that I wrote when I was with EMI I've just I put it in a shell and, and I'm giving it to other artists because even though I wrote it, it wasn't exactly me because I was thinking for the label. Right now, I'm thinking for myself. Um, and, and I know when people hear it, they'll hear it real and raw and how I want it to be. Yeah. Um, if any, you know, there were aspiring artists out there who wanted to get a career in the music industry, would you advise them to go on a show like X Factor or find a record label and send demos in um, that way? How would you? Well, you can do it both ways. The, the amazing thing about X Factor is it gives you a book of contacts that you're never going to believe in your life, right? Like, I sang, I sang for Max Clifford, he's a big fan of mine. I mean, that would have never happened if I would have never been on X Factor. It's um, lately I've been speaking to someone, she's very talented, and, and I said to her, why didn't you go into X Factor? And she's like, oh, I'm really scared because da da da. And I said, the only problem that X Factor has is that if you go in there thinking you're going to be this massive star, which is not true, you go into the X Factor and you need to go in there just with a humble heart and knowing that you need to be yourself a hundred percent every single step so people don't point out you. When, when you come out, like, for example, look at Kitty from this year. She sat on the edge of that stage, and I think she's very talented, but what you do with the moments you're given, it's your responsibility, um, and what you will get back. What did she get back from that moment? You know, people didn't take it seriously anymore, and it's really, really important to, to just you know, be smart and, and be humble and be credible and loving and pure to to what you want. Do you want to be in the magazine or do you want to be a singer? And depending on the answer to that, I would say, okay, then go into X Factor or go to Big Brother. You know what I mean? Yeah, no, yeah, that's true. You know, I, I think you should be an agony aunt, Ruth. You, your words are really good. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Um, yeah, my manager says the same. They're they're making me do inspirational speeches and stuff like that. She's funny. Um, I'm just, you know, I come from a very humble family in Spain. Um, I had to start working since I was 
very young age. I haven't had an easy life, but I think if you keep your heart true and, and you keep dreaming and you keep fighting and never give up, no matter how many times you fall, you stand again and keep looking forward. That that's when you achieve your goals, you know. Yeah. So, um, I mean, you released your debut single, Burn, last summer. The video was partially funded by fans. It must have been a great feeling to have reached your target, knowing that, you know, fans were contributing and donating money to the production. It was amazing. I mean, how incredible was that? Um, like, I'm taking so long to make this album, and people are asking, and sometimes, like, I've stopped Twitter and, and I don't tweet that much anymore because I, when I come back, I need to be back with something incredible that they are going to feel proud of, you know? They, they are everything I am. It's, it's just so many times I feel like giving up and, and people just only have amazing words for me and say, we believe in you and, and if you're doing this, it's because it's the right thing to do. So... All I'm saying is that nobody is going to be disappointed. I did Burn because everybody was asking, and Burn was a very beautiful song that I believed in, written by another artist, and, um, you know, I needed to do something because it had been so long. Um, but now, this is just another level. Um, it's another level of musicality, of lyrics, of everything, and it's going to be... I mean, it's me a hundred percent in a pure state. Um, I I know many won't like it, and other people might love it, but it's who I am, so I can't really say anything else. No, it's nice to hear you say how you appreciate your fans. You know, many celebrities they they talk about, but you actually seem sincerely honest and you know grateful for, for their help and. They're amazing. Yeah, and no. Serious, I, I really have no words. They are amazing. And because an artist has many moments of um, weakness, you know. I was doing a show in Paris not that long ago. And um, um, after the show, I went up to my room, you know, got on my gown. I was by myself. Um after an incredible show, signing autographs and taking pictures and all these beautiful things that happened. And I was in that room by myself, taking my eyelashes out, my fake lashes out, <laughs> and I started crying my eyes out, thinking, what on earth is this all about? You know, what am I doing? I still don't have the album ready. I'm doing the shows and, you know, I'm giving up. I am by myself. I don't know what to do. And then you go on Twitter, or then you go on, you know, YouTube, and all you see is amazing comments, and that's what makes you not give up and make you think, okay, I can do this, and I'm going to be able to do this, and I'm not alone. They're there, you know, and, and that's so important. And all I want to do is make them proud with this album. I know they are going to be, because it, just, it sounds beautiful. We've got strings, we've got... Bands, we've got everything. So, oh. so is that? I mean, when when are we looking for releasing your album? Is there is there a date set yet? This year, next year? Well, I really don't know. You know, my manager, uh, she's amazing. Um, well, you know, I don't know when it's gonna when it's gonna be released. I really can't tell you a date. I really hope it's late this year because I really, really hope so. That's what I need. Yeah. Uh, finally, I just I read somewhere that you were into quantum physics. I mean, what's that about? Ruth Lorenzo, the singer, the writer, the agony aunt, the physician. I mean, what what was that? I love quantum physics. I I, I wanted to be an astronomer when I was a kid. Um, and in fact, I'm looking into applying for university when when all the hectic schedules and, and when I achieve this goal, that's my second date. Um, yeah, I love Stephen Hawking. Yeah, ah. so He's that's it. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know what? You teach me science any day, Ruth. <laughs> um? Okay, I got you now. Oh, you yeah. got me now. Okay, that's good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, it's been great talking to you, Ruth. 
Oh, that's I can okay. talk forever. Oh, right. <laughs> Literally. Um, nice talking to you, yeah. too. I hope you got enough there. Um, and we will... I hope to see you soon. No, yeah, that'd be great. Catch okay. up again. Yeah, thank you. Good luck with the album. Good luck with the single and everything. And um, Thank you, darling. Yeah, don't change. Don't Don't lose weight or anything. Stay beautiful. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay. Have a good one. You too. Bye. Bye.